it's really awesome. <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm Dave Fawkes, CEO of Brunswick Corporation. Welcome to our CES 2022 Media Days presentation. We are looking forward to exhibiting once again in person at CES and bringing Brunswick's next wave strategy to life. CES 2022 will be an opportunity to bring together digital and physical elements of our ACES, Autonomous, Connected, Electrified and Shared strategy with some of our latest award-winning and attention-grabbing in-market products. Within our immersive and engaging exhibit, visitors will be transported from the convention center to richly simulated land and seascapes, which we will use to demonstrate how a boat captain in the near future might experience a voyage assisted by a suite of autonomy systems. Brunswick's purpose statement continues to guide our path and reflect our desire to use innovative technology and business models to deliver inspired elevated experiences that democratize boating through expanded opportunities for participation. Many of you will already know that Brunswick is the world's largest recreational marine manufacturer and home to some of the most well-known marine brands. Mercury Marine is a Brunswick company and 50% of all boats in the US recreational boat fleet are powered by Mercury Marine engines. We own three of the four best-known boat brands in the marine industry, Boston Whaler, Sea Ray, and Bayliner. And Brunswick's Freedom Boat Club now has more than 300 club locations around the world. And we are a tremendously innovative company, leading the marine industry with more than 450 patents since 2017. Let me focus for a moment on our portfolio of boat brands. We are the world's largest manufacturer of recreational boats. And if you have any connections to boating, you'll almost certainly have encountered some of our 17 leading boat brands, some of which you see here. We participate in all major boating segments, including fiberglass recreational boats, pontoons, offshore fishing boats, aluminum freshwater fishing boats, wake and toast boat boats, etc. And we have dedicated brands serving Europe, which is the second largest boating market after the US. We also have brands serving Canada and Australia and New Zealand. Turning to our industry-leading propulsion brands, we're also a leading manufacturer of recreational marine propulsion systems with the highest US market share. We manufacture outboard engines from 2.5 horsepower to 600 horsepower. Our new V12 600 horsepower outboard engine was just launched in May this year. By all measures, the most successful product launch in our company history. We also manufacture inboard and stern drive engines for recreational and racing applications with power levels from 200 horsepower up to our monstrous 1750 horsepower offshore racing engines. Our propulsion systems are known for being the lightest, quietest, most fuel efficient systems in the market. And our propulsion systems are increasingly sold with sophisticated digital controls, which elevate the boating experience and support our ACES strategy. Brunswick also has the largest portfolio of high technology marine systems, parts and accessories. In 2020, we added to our already large portfolio of brands and product lines with three acquisitions, including Navico and their award-winning marine electronics brands, Lowrance, Simrad, CMAP and B&G, the lithium ion battery supplier Relyon to support our electrification strategy, and Sematronics, a leader in manufacturing complex wiring harnesses. I'm also highlighting here some of our businesses and brands that are particularly relevant to the future direction of marine technology and to the products I'll talk about later. Our master vault business is based in the Netherlands and specializes in advanced battery technology and electrical energy management and distribution for marine and other mobile applications. Our CZONE team is located in New Zealand 
Seazone is the leading digital systems business in the marine industry, allowing modal control of multiple disparate systems on complex boats and vehicles from a single master interface. And finally, I want to turn to the shared access boating participation models that represent the S in our ACES strategy. We acquired the world's largest boat club, Freedom Boat Club, in 2019 and have grown it quickly over the last two years. Freedom offers a subscription-based way of participating in the boating lifestyle without owning a boat. There are more than 300 Freedom Boat Club locations around the world, and at each location, members have access to a fleet of new boats they can book on an app. When they arrive at the club, the boat is ready to go, and when they finish for the day, they just drop it off again. Freedom also offers reciprocal booking arrangements, allowing members at one location to book boats at another. Freedom has been one of the most successful acquisitions in our history, providing incredible growth opportunities and attracting members who are, on average, younger and more diverse than new boat buyers. 35% of Freedom members are women and 15% are ethnically or racially diverse. As I mentioned earlier, we recently launched the V12 600 horsepower Verado outboard motor, the most powerful outboard available. And we were delighted to learn that this tremendously innovative new product received the 2022 CES Innovation Award in the vehicle and transportation category. You will see two of these amazing products in our exhibit this year, powering a new Sea Ray 370 Sundancer boat which was also launched in 2021. This is the second consecutive CES Innovation Award for Mercury Marine. In 2021, Mercury's first mate marine safety and security system won in two categories, earning the best of innovation designation in the in vehicle entertainment and safety category and the CES Innovation Award honor in the vehicle intelligence and transportation category. The V12 Verado outboard delivers smooth, quiet operation and exceptional fuel economy and range, in turn reducing greenhouse gas emissions compared with other alternatives. The efficiency of this product is achieved through a portfolio of industry-leading technologies, including the first automatic transmission integrated into an outboard motor, dual advanced contra-rotating propellers, and Mercury's ARO advanced range optimization lean burn technology. In sea trials using a 43-foot boat, twin 600 horsepower Verado outboards provided 20% better fuel economy at cruise while also outperforming a competitor's triple 425 horsepower outboards in both acceleration and top speed. This V12 Verado's advanced fuel management system delivers these performance and sustainability advantages running on widely available and less expensive 87 octane fuel. We will have this amazing product on display at CES where I encourage you to see for yourself what sets this product apart from anything else in the marketplace. We believe that smart products live best within smart experiences. And this is the foundation of the ACES strategy I mentioned earlier. We introduced our ACES strategy, which is an acronym for Autonomous, Connected, Electrified, and Shared in 2019 as a unifying framework for many of our initiatives. And we are making rapid progress, having commercialized a number of ACES products and services and with many others in the pipeline. Let's start with the A in ACES, which stands for Autonomy or ADAS. Through the deployment of marine ADAS systems, we're aiming to integrate intelligent control and assistance into the next wave of boater experiences, providing those at the helm with a sense of comfort, safety, while navigating challenging conditions, the confidence to tackle complex situations, and the ability to reliably execute difficult maneuvers. We're making good progress in this space. We have partnerships with many people working in this space, including MIT, Sea Machines, a company focused on marine autonomy, and Carnegie Robotics, which I will talk about in a moment. We've demonstrated object identification and obstacle avoidance and auto docking, and we plan to continue our commercial ADAS rollout with more advanced features in the future. There are many technological parallels between automotive autonomy and ADAS solutions and marine solutions but also some significant application differences associated with marine environment. 
A boat operates at the intersection of air and water, with the water surface being very dynamic due to the boat's own wake, waves, current, and wind. A boat has six degrees of freedom. There's a high degree of latency between the application of thrust and boat movement. And when you take your hands off the controls of a boat, it continues to move due to the action of waves and wind and current. In addition, there are no lanes, and boat traffic can approach from all directions. Exposure to water, salt, mineral, and sea growth buildup can also significantly impair sensor effectiveness. Our efforts in autonomy and ADAS build on our core strengths, starting with our Mercury Marine propulsion systems that deliver precise vessel control and state prediction using our current joystick control systems and station keeping systems. A comprehensive sensor suite for both above and below water is essential in delivering the situational awareness required for marine autonomy. And we have many existing sensor systems in our portfolio, like our SIMRAD radar technology, our Lorentz sonar technology, and our CMAP digital cartography solution. We're also building additional capabilities for situational awareness, including stereo vision and LIDAR. For marine autonomy, vessel computing requirements could exceed 300 tera operations per second to provide 360-degree sensing around the vessel, along with other mission management elements. And we are working with partners to build our capabilities to deliver an industry-leading compute capability that will allow us to add features and functionality through scalable products. Finally, autonomy will require new development approaches. Simulation is a critical capability required to increase confidence in system performance under a wide variety of conditions. And our Brunswick iJet Innovation Lab in Champaign, Illinois, has been building foundational capabilities in mission simulation that will allow Brunswick to rapidly develop and test autonomy use cases. At CES, you'll see all these elements brought to life in our exhibit. To further advance our autonomy capabilities, in 2021, we entered into a partnership with Carnegie Robotics, combining CRL's depth and breadth in autonomous technology with Brunswick's leadership in the marine industry to advance our autonomy stack. And CRL will be part of our CES exhibit this year. This video was created at our Boston Whaler facility with a full array of CRL's vision systems and demonstrate CRL's capabilities to accurately sense, detect, and classify marine objects, which will enable obstacle avoidance and mission planning. Moving to connectivity, the C in our ACES strategy. Through connectivity, we're already enabling a seamless on-off boat ownership experience, providing boaters with full support through their full boating experience. Our latest connectivity app, shown here, provides many features, including the ability to remotely control and monitor a vessel, including the ability to set geofences, seamless access to important content and services, including dealer services, how-to content, access to boating communities, and the ability to purchase parts and accessories. There's also a portal for boat servicing dealers to remotely monitor the health of multiple boats and instantly be advised of any issues. Brunswick has already made tremendous strides in connectivity with some of the most popular connected products in the industry. And to date, Navico has 1.8 million downloads and 1.4 million accounts on their mobile apps, while more than 100,000 people have downloaded Brunswick and Mercury connectivity apps. We have lofty goals to connect all our products, which will enhance the overall experience. Many you will see on display at CES and many others we will launch over time. Electric boats have been around for many, many years and have been used in applications where range and speed expectations are much lower than for conventional vessels. For example, for tenders to larger boats and low-speed tourist boats. One of the differences between boats and light-duty road vehicles is it requires a lot more power to push a boat through water than to move a road vehicle along a level road. In addition, boats don't have brakes, so energy recovery is not possible. The latest electrification technology, including lithium-ion batteries and very efficient motors, is making its way into the marine market, but current applications are mainly in the lower power ranges or in niche applications. Brunswick will begin offering electric propulsion options in 2022, focusing initially on lower power applications. For larger boats, there are some high-value electrification possibilities in the other subsystems beyond propulsion. 
For example, in replacing the onboard combustion engine generator used on many larger boats with lithium-ion batteries. Shown on this slide is our Fathom e-power system that we launched at CES in 2020, a first-of-its-kind boat electrification system that includes a Mastervolt high-capacity lithium-ion battery pack with an intuitive power management system capable of powering all of a boat's accessory systems. This technology provides boaters with a convenient and smart way to enjoy all the features of their boat for a longer, quieter, and more eco-friendly day on the water. During our investor day this summer, we laid out our electrification plans in detail. By 2023, Mercury Marine and our Advanced Systems Group, ASG, together will launch five electric propulsion products, with the first products launching in 2022. Over the same time period, ASG expects to have installed 15,000 advanced battery systems replacing internal combustion engine generators on boats and in recreational vehicles. And Brunswick Boat Group will have launched electric boats in four different segments. We also believe that Freedom Boat Club, with its centrally managed fleets and well-understood use cases, is the ideal operating model to support the introduction of electric marine products making us the owners of a unique marine electrification puzzle piece. Late in 2021, we acquired the lithium-ion battery supply at Relyon to add to our electrification capabilities, and we also announced the establishment of a new electrification technology center to be located in Michigan. In a bid to improve sustainability, electrification has entered some forms of racing, and in our CES 2022 exhibit, we will have the prototype of the E1 electric racing powerboat Racebird, featuring an electric powertrain developed by Mercury Racing. The boat will be powered by a 35 kilowatt hour battery and a motor with 150 kilowatt peak power output and have a projected top speed of 58 miles per hour. In addition, another Brunswick brand, Simrad, is the official marine electronics partner of the E1 series while CMAP is the official cartography partner. The SIMRAD and CMAP teams will assist in the development of the onboard display and navigation systems in the Racebird's cockpit. As you can see, the next wave of our strategy will include the next generation of our products, the next generation of our technologies, next generation ways to connect with our customers, and our next generation of unique experiences. And in 2021, our next wave strategy has taken a huge step forward. We believe we're at the forefront of sustaining innovation to transform the recreational boating experience in partnership with our award-winning brands. We have the broadest and deepest foundations of any recreational marine company with the greatest brands, the largest scale, and the most extensive capabilities, enabling us to deeply integrate our technology and deliver on our ACES strategy. We are uniquely positioned to democratize recreational boating by creating expanded opportunities for participation. A deep commitment to progress in the areas of environment, social and governance, or ESG, including sustainability, and diversity, equity and inclusion, or DEI, is also central to Brunswick's next wave strategy. In 2021, Brunswick published our second enterprise-wide sustainability report, which was very well received by all stakeholders. Some key sustainability achievements in 2020, as reported in the 2021 report, included a 14% reduction in the greenhouse gas emissions from our facilities on an energy intensity basis, the replacement of balsa wood in some of our boats as a filler material with an alternative material manufactured from recycled plastic bottles, and achieving the lowest total recordable incident rate in our history across our facilities. Also noted here are some of Brunswick's many awards as one of the best U.S. employers and a best employer for diversity, for women, and for veterans. We continue to be very proud of the extensive recognition we've received for our ESG and DEI efforts. Brunswick is making large investments in its digital capabilities and assets as the digital transformation takes hold in the marine industry. Digital capability is fundamental to a unified consumer experience across the marine landscape and is core to Brunswick's cross-business synergy strategy. Through our digital investments, we will move the customer along the path of maximum lifetime value by the most contemporary suite of digital assets in the industry. Brunswick's next wave products, innovations and experiences are engaging more people than ever 
and attracting new boaters who are younger and much more diverse than ever before. As we head towards CES 2022, you're now familiar with Brunswick's exciting next wave strategy. Before I leave you, I want to give you a sneak peek at our exhibit, which will provide an even more immersive view of our ACES strategy and allow you to interact with some of our award-winning products. You've now heard about the incredible potential of the Brunswick Enterprise and our efforts to democratize and elevate the boating experience. The sneak preview at our exhibit is just a taster of what you'll experience in person at CES 2022. And I hope today's presentation gave you an appetite for more. Thank you for spending time with us here during our next Wave Media Days presentation. And if you're attending CES, I encourage you to come visit us in the West Hall at Exhibit 6932. If you can't make it to Vegas, we will continue to engage with you all on Brunswick.com, bringing the excitement of the show directly to you. Goodbye for now.